your home for daily SEC content. That is Southeastern 14. I'm Chase Robinson talking SEC football today as we're going to dive into three breakout players for the Texas A&M Aggies in 2024. But before we dive into that, got to remind you about Bet Online. That is your number one source for all of your summer sports this season from MLB, golf, NBA, and NHL playoff stats. News scores available to you and your favorite teams. Get the latest odds and lines, including the latest team matchups, player props, and odds on just about every sport out there. Head over to the website or use your mobile device to get in on the action. Bet online where the game starts. So the Texas A&M Aggies, new year, new era. Mike Elko leading the charge now there in College Station. And just like any time a new coach comes in and takes over, uh, you lose some guys to the portal. But you also are able to gain some guys um, from the portal as well. That's just where we are in college football. So Coach Elko brought in a new staff. He's brought in some new guys. But it may be hard to believe, and I, I found this interesting as well, that uh, the Aggies actually have more production returning than any SEC team. And so I think that could uh, prove well for the Aggies in 2024. Uh, this is an improved roster. They have some difference makers, and that is what Texas A&M needs, some difference makers, some guys who can create some issues and uh, create some success uh, in, in their respective positions. There's players all over the field that I think need to have a breakout year for Texas A&M, uh, but there's three guys in three key positions that I feel really need to have a breakout year for the Texas A&M Aggies. We'll start on defense. And I'll start with defensive tackle DJ Hicks. Uh, he was a five-star out of high school uh, when he signed with the Aggies. Fans know his name if you're a Texas A&M fan. Uh, he played some last year in his freshman season. 13 tackles, uh, two of those being tackles for loss, also recorded a sack. Um, they have several positions open on the defensive line from guys hitting the portal. Uh, so I think Hicks could very well find himself in a starting position, uh, not only based on what he did last year, but based off uh, he had a good spring as well. And so I think uh, DJ Hicks is in a position where where he could get a start. Uh, but even if he doesn't start, he's still going to have significant playing time, uh, and he needs to have a breakout season building on what he did a year ago as a freshman and becoming a really an anchor on the defensive line. Mike Elko is a great defensive mind, great defensive coach. That's his side of the ball. So, uh, you know, he's going to be working and focusing uh, with these guys on the defense. And so uh, I think DJ Hicks is set up to have a great year. And especially in that defensive tackle position, I think it will be key for him to have a, a breakout season for the Texas A&M Aggies. I want to stay on defense and talk about a uh, newcomer to this Texas A&M team, Nick Scorton. Uh, defensive end. He is a transfer from Purdue, and it just so happens he was uh, the leader of uh, the Big Ten in sacks a season ago. That's going to be huge uh, for Mike Elko and his defense. Being the defensive mind that Elko is, he wants to pressure the opposing offense. He wants to make opposing quarterbacks uncomfortable. That's what he likes to do. So why not bring a guy like Scorton in who uh, and, and bring him to uh, to College Station? Had a great spring uh, in the spring game. He put a lot of pressure on Connor Wegman. And again, who's a pretty good quarterback. He's experienced. Um, uh, Scorton finished the day with a two and a half sacks and three and a half tackles for loss. And he knocked down a Wegman pass. And uh, he needs to have a breakout year for the, uh, the Aggies, create some havoc on opponents. I mean, obviously, he did that in the Big Ten, uh, being their, their leader in sacks, but he needs to, to bring that over to this Aggies team who uh, needs to be able to, to pressure the quarterbacks and, and pressure the offense of their opponents. Uh, the other end is well taken care of as well. Shamar Stewart uh, had a big spring game as well and defensive end. So those two guys together can cause some problems, and I think they will be causing problems this year uh, in the SEC for the Aggies. This could be a dangerous defense with uh, Scorton if he can put together a breakout year and lead this defense and continue in the SEC what he did in the Big Ten. He has uh, the potential to be a really special player from the Aggies. And just uh, talking to folks who – uh, we're, we're there watching the spring game. They said, well, this guy is unbelievable. I mean, this is, uh, 
Uh, there's a reason that uh, Elko and the staff really targeted Skorton is because he is a fantastic player, and uh, I think he needs to have a breakout year to lead this defense and, and cause some havoc back there on the opponents. So that's uh, DJ Hicks and Nick Skorton, number two defensive guys that I feel like need to have a breakout year in a very defense-oriented uh, coach team by Mike Elko. We can't forget about offense, and I want to talk about running back Ruben Owens. Another guy, he was a five-star out of high school for the Aggies, and uh, he also played a season ago for A&M. He ran for 406 yards and three touchdowns, also caught 12 passes, returned some kicks. He's a major rep weapon for this team, not only running the ball, but in the pass game as well. I think they're going to be utilizing him a lot with maybe the short passes out of the backfield and then use his speed, and boy, he has a lot of that. He has a lot of speed to... Uh, to gain some positive yards. I like what I've seen from him, just watching him in some video clips and then in the uh, the spring game. Uh, I think he needs to have a breakout year, and he needs to be a guy they can rely on to be consistent coming out of the backfield. Uh, if they can get the run game established and work in some creativity, and I think that Ruben Owens would be a good guy if you have a creative offensive coordinator who can put Owens in some different situations and uh, and show his, his great abilities uh, and in speed and also catching the ball, I, I think he could be dangerous and have a breakout year. And then you got a veteran quarterback in Connor Wegman who's had a lot of time to play. He's really developed. He's, he's quietly a really good quarterback at the SEC. And uh, so I, I think the offense should be all right with uh, with Connor Wegman and then with a guy like Ruben Owens if he can break out this year and uh, lead the team in rushing and, and, um, and put up some big numbers. That will be huge for the Texas A&M Aggies. I like this roster. I think it's good for Elko in his first season. We'll, he, we'll see what he can do with it in a tough SEC. But I think they're in good hands with Mike Elko. I think they're in good shape heading into the 2024 season. should be interesting to see where the Texas A&M Aggies sit when it's all said and done based on some of the guys they have. And if some of these guys can have breakout seasons, again, I just mentioned uh, three of these guys and DJ Hicks. Nick Scorton and Ruben Owens, but there's a lot of guys who need to have a breakout year for Texas A&M to kind of get them over the hump, get them back in, in, in winning games and, and back in the conversation for the 12-team college football playoffs. So we got you covered with SEC football daily content uh, for football, basketball, and baseball right here on Southeastern 14.